Right, the best part of this, yes, male lion, there he is. Don't know if he's the father, definitely one of the probably black rock males. But behind us, the lioness is now looking for the cubs and the others. And so what we're going to do is follow her as she joins up, I hope, with the others. Let's see what happens. The first thing I'm going to try and do, however, is not roll into this uh, ditch. There we go. Slight grinding of the gears, but let's face it, in a vehicle like this, well, it's to be expected. She, she doesn't know where they are. Would you like to know where they are? If you follow us, we could take you there. She's not far, and she's heading towards the sort of den site area. And from there, I suspect they'll see her, and they may well also call her. See her calling there? Oh. She's panting like that, not because she's been frantically looking for them, but because she's been gorging herself on something else. It's dreadful. I hate listening to them call like this when we know where the others are. It's just, it's always so mournful, so desperate. Not far. Isn't this great? Can't see the mail. He's incited behind the bushes, but he's, oh, okay. he's utterly unenthused by her calling. But he's still put his head up, of course, which is quite unusual. Come on, my dear, let's go and complete the story. Get up and keep walking towards the den. You're not far, you'll see them from there. Paula, you say she looks like she's had a good meal. I think she looks like she's had three good meals. And then a fairly substantial pudding and perhaps a couple of after-dinner mints as well. With a small milkshake to close it off. She came back towards the mail now because he uh, seems to be her only friend in the region. They really are not far from the others. But because of the wind, the others won't hear her. So they won't call back. I'm just going to move. OK, we can move now. The bushes. You can't see her. Can you see her there, folk? She's going to go towards the male or head towards the den. You can see the male there. You can see him there. He's just through there. Let's just wait here and see if she doesn't... Uh, I've parked you right behind a bush there, haven't I? Got Gee, you got him. <laughs> no, I can see him. Yeah. Back a bit. No, he's there. She's still calling. I think if I go forward, you'll see him. You should have him now, through this gap between these two forks. Really? Okay, well, that's a good enough. Um, I'm just trying to find the f lioness. Sierra, you're wondering if the, lion, if the other lionesses will call back to say where they are. Yes, well, as I was saying, they will if they can hear her, but because it's so blustery and windy, I don't think they can hear her. And so she's going to have to get quite a lot closer to them. Can you see her? I think she's back in the drainage line. She might be walking around like this because the whole place will smell like them. 
And so interesting how she's no interest at all in going to see the male, and he has no interest at all in calling back to her. Let me just pull out of this area here. This, this whole place will smell like lions now. So it will be slightly confusing to her. Yeah. I'm just wondering if she hasn't turned around and gone back. If there are, is the odd black screen, I'm sorry about that. We are in a dip. There she is, going up towards the male. And she comes. She's actually coming this way, I think. Just continue up here. So the wind is basically blowing from behind us, so any sound that she makes is going to blow away from the other lions, and even if the other lions were to call, the wind is still not in a good position for them. So if she was to hear the cubs mewling. She was just coming up through these thickets of croton bushes here. Of course, would like to stay this side of the wind for her so that our sound also just disappears. So if there's one thing these vehicles are not, it is quiet. Now, there's the male. I don't know where Mrs. has gone. Anyway, while we try and figure out this mystery, uh, we're going to hand you back over to Scott Dyson, who has changed from the cake man of Africa all the way back to the cheetah man of Africa.